Meet Rhea. She has a party to attend and was informed the last minute. She picked her dress in mind, but then when she opens the closet, boom! She sees the dress and engraved this thing. With that, she had two options. Option A tells her to wear her dress, while option B tells her to borrow from a friend. But she's Rhea and she chooses complicated things rather than the easier ones. Rhea chose to stick with the dress and made up option C, which tells her to wash and remove the stain from her dress and just blow dry it after. Then she starts washing. The stain in that dress seems to be annoying than usual. She wants to remove the stain faster. Under support of chemical reaction, she wants this reaction to occur more quickly. Her friend Regine had an idea to help her speed up this reaction, and she had three ways in mind. Before getting to these ways, let us find out. How does chemical reaction really happen? When the molecules of the reactants collide in the reacting system, a chemical reaction occurs. The rate at which a reaction occurs is determined by the rate at which molecules collide. The behavior of one or more of these variables will speed up the reaction time. The first way that Regine proposed is the idea of putting a lot of detergent in the water to clean the stains faster. Chemically speaking, this proposed idea of Regine is equivalent to increasing the concentration of reactants. According to the collision principle, increasing the concentration of the reactants increases the rate of the reaction. More collisions occur as more reactant molecules are available, raising the average rate of the reaction under the same conditions. Okay, but who would spend a lot of money to a single stain? So let's move on to the second way. Regine told her to use hot water in soaking the dress instead of just normal water to remove the stains faster. This is analogous to increasing the temperature of the reaction mixture. The rate of most chemical reactions is directly proportional to the temperature in most cases. The energy of the reactant molecules increases as the temperature rises, making them move more quicker and more vulnerable to collisions, raising the reaction rate. <laughs> yes, that's a lot cheaper, but come on, she's way too lazy for that. So let's try Regine's last card. It is to use bleach to remove the stains. In chemistry, the bleach acts as a catalyst. Chemical catalysts work by lowering the activation energy of a reaction. To put it in another way, by lowering the amount of energy needed to initiate a reaction. They do this by taking two particles together and properly orienting them in space so that they can interact in the proper configuration and initiate a reaction. The bleach changes the soil particles into soluble particles that are removed by detergents in the washing process. And this process can be called as oxidation. So when you think about washing your clothes, think that it is not just a simple house chore. It's, it's science! science.